Yo, I am Dr. Cool. No, this is not happening again. Oh no, this is so freaking amazing, wonderfully fantastic. I was practically ecstatic when I first came across this invention. It may sound small, but it capabilities is endless and the size does matter. The internet is on flames, who light it up? It's not Batman or Iron Man, it's the Wakanda race. Chadwick Brothers, the Alkabulan. Like, have you ever imagined a world where you don't have to rely on the grid for a cuppa? How many lithium battery and inverters will one stack up into that tiny space to power up that energy-guzzling monster that cooked your meals? 100 maybe? But Fed just cooked the Western established scientists with his invention. And he did all that without a fancy billion dollars lab or research facilities. I will share the clip with you guys. It's unbelievable. Neither had I until I saw this. In the previous video, lots of my audience are complaining that I didn't show the proof or demonstration video of the self-powered electric stove. So in this video, I will be sharing the clip of the demonstration video of the self-powered electric stove. An African inventor has blown my mind with a self-powered kettle and stove. No plugs, no gas, just pure ingenuity. And even more interestingly, it lasts up to 384000 hours. That's about 43 years. Just imagine that for a second. It sounds impossible, right? But trust me, this is the real deal. This isn't some science fiction fantasy. This is real and it works. We're talking about a genuine game changer in the world of energy consumption. Forget everything you thought you knew about boiling water or cooking a meal. This invention is about to rewrite the rule book. Let's face it, we've all been there. Electric stove, kettle and your air conditioning system are the king of energy guzzlers. They don't care what your credit score is or your earnings. Imagine all that becoming obsolete. It's crazy, but even more interestingly impressive. African youth vows to F up the Western carrot donkey energy dependency and Fed is another disruptive inventor after Maxwell Chikumbutso. You're in a rush and the kettle seems to take forever to boil. Not with Fed's inventor that boiled one and a half liter of water in less than 60 seconds. This is ultra fast. This speed is just on a whole new level. A video I will share later in another video. But have you ever stopped to think about the energy it's guzzling down? Kettles and stoves are some of the biggest energy consumers in our homes. They drain our wallets and put a strain on the national grid. We moan about fuel prices for our cars, but we ignore the silent energy drain happening every time we make a cup of tea. It's time to wake up and realize that there's a better way, a way to enjoy our creature comforts without the hefty energy bill. Welcome, my name is Fidule, as you know that. Um, guys, I have uh, another invention here. <coughs> uh, I have another plane. I've been thinking, and uh, I told myself that I have this uh, hot plate of mine, this is a cooking stove, a portable cooking stove. I think some of you know guys, we used to buy this. I just cut now this cable. This cable is going here and then you plug to electricity. Okay, so now since you know that I made a TV which doesn't use electricity and I made a KKL. Actually, I turned the KKL, electric KKL into non-electric. So even this one, that's the plane that I came with. Because now I realized that each and every uh, electric equipment I can turn it into non-electric okay um so as you can see i did cut this off i can just pull it away i just wanted to show you guys uh, that this was a cable that was coming here electric cable but now we're no longer going to use that i can just throw it away and then what i want to do here this switch um <clears throat> they're still working these two this switch i did not uh, tune them off because they are the ones that are going to help us to switch on and off, on and off. This is not a new stuff, it's an old stuff that I have been using, okay? And also it seems like it's a skew or something, I don't know the way it is. But it's fine, <laughs> whether it's skew or not. What I'm here for, or the aim, is to show you guys these elements when they are hot, okay? <laughs> yeah, so that's what I want to show you guys. I made my lights today not too much bright, simple because I want you guys to see uh, these elements when they get hot and also I think I will uh, reduce them more my lights so that they cannot bring too much bright because the brightness and the these elements why you can't see them that they are red or what you know that I uh, once these things are red which means they are hot I uh, once these things uh, are connected to power normally it gets red so that's what I want to do I want to make them I want to switch it on by my way i bridged it it's no longer working by electricity okay it works by my way so here we go guys <clears throat> as we have it this switch are still going to help us to turn them on and off reducing i didn't change anything about the switch 
They are number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. These are steps of reducing and increasing the the power capacity so that it can get much and much hotter. But as for me, I'll put them to maximum once because my aim is for these elements to get hot so that you guys can see clearly that it works. Okay. So this is what we are here guys to do today now instead of wasting times first of all i would like to appreciate all of you guys decided to make subscription to my tiktok uh, 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 channel i really appreciate your your donation guys i really appreciate that i pray also that may god the almighty bless you guys for what you have done to me and also not only that i'm still going to make a life as i promised to speak to you guys whether on youtube or either in a tiktok but i will do that uh, so that i can appreciate you guys i can thank you guys physically and even you guys have not yet uh, subscribed to my subscription on tiktok please guys there's a link down below of this video click on that link it will take you to my subscription page it's only five dollars per month okay thank you i will really appreciate that if you can do that for me because it helps me a lot on this envisions of mine I need your help guys that's why i did that so okay i really appreciate all of you and then continue doing that guys subscribe to my uh tiktok subscription thank you okay let's come back here now um since it is like this i was saying that this is which i didn't change anything you can still reduce the power you can still increase the power just the way it was working while it's plugged into electricity electricity i mean <laughs> i can talk today yeah so that's it so as for my way now what i want to do as you can see guys here there's nothing uh, or cable connected this is my microphone i hope you guys if you are not new you know it if you are new you have to know that this is my microphone it's my cordless microphone that i use to capture sound with uh, you might think that this is the thing that makes the <laughs> display hot no it's not the one <laughs> okay i'll put it right there so that you can capture sound for me and then okay right here i put this stuff anyway just the spy. okay now what i want to do here is to switch the things on when i switch them on you have to wait they can't just go uh, uh go hot immediately or go red uh, immediately no it's not like that but you have to do what you have to wait sometimes okay so that's what we're about to do now watch the video to the end guys because uh, uh, this is not a joke this is a read okay i think where this stuff is is fine or i can pick it up again for the last time uh, like this what i did to this thing guys i changed some some elements in it okay some guys they asked me that oh this nuclear uh, things is not going to blast it and kill us uh, what, what 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 no 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 no. there's nothing is going to kill you guys absolutely nothing that's going to kill you this works just like electricity remember electricity can kill us as well but because they put a regulator we can call it transform or whatever that thing it works to regulate the power the capacity to reduce the capacity and give you to enough voltage especially for your appliance but if it was not about that thing they just connect it directly to my appliance they can burn everything even the house can be burned it's just like a nuclear product that i use to do the thing some of them say ah there's gonna be cancer uh, there's gonna be <laughs> you, you know what guys uh, i know everything when it starts there are a lot of speech people they talk they keep saying that and that this thing doesn't harm anyone by any way it's harmless this thing it just uses a regulator you regulate the power that you want to use on it you use it just the way you use electricity nothing like it is going to blast it because the nuclear is used there for bombs to blast it so which means going to blast it no 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 this is not for that so no doubt of that okay let's put it right here guys uh or anywhere right here is fine as close as possible to the can <laughs> okay now what will you do you just come here uh, i stand aside so that you guys can see clearly i don't want to come here maybe you don't see what i'm doing that's why i come aside like this and then i just do this yeah when it's like that uh, i was turning it and now i turn it on and even this side as well yeah we have to hear that sound now it's on both sides now they are on what we have to do we just have to wait wait just for this thing to get what hot what i want to do now i want to turn off actually not off i want to reduce my light because they might bring too much bright that you can't see and then go wait okay oh anyway even if i don't do that 
let us just i don't want to interrupt anything guys <laughs> i want to leave it just the way it is because you might think that okay uh, this um, reducing light of his it made uh, we don't see what's going on as you can see the cable is that side that cable has been cut so which means no more uh, electricity working here this is my way which means guys i can change any appliance which uses electricity to what to non-electric okay watch the video to the end as you can see now the elements they're starting coming late right. they're starting coming late right. It's that it's just I mean <laughs> I can't talk today. It's just that I don't want to leave this place where I am right now. Because you guys might think that I, I went there, I did something or whatever. No no no, I don't want to do that. I want to be right here. Until as you can see now, it starts coming red. Now I think you can see now that this thing is working. So this is it guys. This is it, no doubt. Any appliance, any electric. I can turn it still to what to non-electric confirmed i didn't go and buy a new uh, hot plate i just used the old hot plate like this just for demonstration okay but what i'll do next time i'll go buy new things that i and i unbox it because this i was just testing i will unbox it that was extremely amazing. My goodness, it's so satisfying to watch African young minds without billions, research labs or multi-trillions dollars industries genuinely solving our everyday problems, offsetting the global tablet order of big cooperation romantic affair with big automotive industries. I suppose you- Here we go now. As you can see, what is boiling? What is boiling? So let us just pour some water in here uh, so that we can test it how it works and uh, without it anything, which means I can put the thing away for now. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me just put that thing away and uh, we work with this. We want to boil water without any plucking to this uh, electric kettle here. We use it uh, without the electricity. Okay. And before that, guys, as you know that I'm an inventor, I made a TV which doesn't use electricity. That's the same product I also used on this kettle to remove some elements in it. And then I added a nuclear product so that it can work without power. So yeah, by that, please guys, help me by... This brilliant inventor has taken on the challenge head first. He's targeted kettles and stoves because, let's be honest, everyone needs them. They are the cornerstones of our kitchens. Imagine the impact if we could make these everyday essentials energy independent. The details of how it works are still under wraps. But what I can tell you is that it's based on a revolutionary new technology. It captures and converts energy, providing a constant and reliable power source. No more plugging in, no more running out of gas, just pure self-sufficient cooking power. Section 4. Power to the people. Think about the possibilities. For remote villages without reliable electricity, this is life-changing. No more relying on expensive and polluting kerosene stoves. This invention brings safe and sustainable energy directly into their homes. But it's not just about remote communities. Homeowners can slash their electricity bills and reduce their carbon footprint. And on a larger scale, imagine the relief on national grids when energy demand drops. This invention has the potential to transform our entire energy infrastructure. Section 5. A glimpse into the future. I know what you're thinking. Sounds too good to be true. Where's the proof? Well, I've seen it with my own eyes. I was lucky enough to witness a live demonstration and let me tell you, it was mind-blowing. The kettle boiled water in minutes and the stove cooked a meal without breaking a sweat. This is just the beginning. This technology has the potential to revolutionize so much more than just kettles and stoves. Imagine self-powered refrigerators, washing machines, even entire homes. This is the future of energy and it's happening now. The days of being tethered to the grid are numbered. This invention is a giant leap towards a cleaner, more sustainable future for everyone.